Okay, what's up guys? This is Ray. Welcome to part 2 for Witches Warlord. So, what happened? The last uh, part? Oh yeah, Faye just about to start her part-time job. So yeah, let's go. This way. Today I went to work. Okay. Nothing special happened. And I'm gonna go earn my pocket money. I earn. That's it. That's it. So how do you even want to make a potion? Can you just create one? How you can create a potion? Like Can I like Okay, let's go ahead. Let's see what kind of spread that we want to learn Then we can try learn What's this? Scuttle Clone a body part like your hand while maintaining control over the movement Grant your superior intellect and empty allow you to resume corpse Oh, this is good Good Choose one body part to strength like you were handpicked for perfection. There are advantages to being 7 feet tall. Being oddly convincing? We did a work in one of them. In exchange for some protection, plenty of smaller creatures will my lady your hand. Move object without touching them like a humpty. Let out a stretch, stretch that can break glass or defeat any range. Let you float for a short while. Defeat dragon or make some fried egg. What? Freeze a small area with your ghostly chill. Summon any vampire alive. Natural animal in the vicinity to ask a favor. Detect anything living with blood nearby. Also work on recent bloodshed. Climb up a nearby surface, even wall and ceiling. Levitate and glide through the air. Call yourself in complete darkness, hiding you from sight. I guess we can try. Try this cuttle first. Or maybe. Jump! Huh. Huh. Maybe this does. Like. Filo surface. Wait, wait. What well, I need for the filo surface? What? What happened? Why well, just click? Zero. Zero. Guess what? 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 Guess. Fine. Neither you nor I have the time to find, I'll guess. Woohoo! He screamed at me skeptically. Did you? Did you set a kitchen on fire and can make a scramble egg? Huh? Uh, what? Well, well, did you? No. no. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Then I suppose you must have caused an explosion akin to when you put the wrong ingredient into your potion and burn down your flat. No I didn't. Yes. Don't tell me. Don't tell me I suddenly summoned that truthy sick arms to take a demon again while trying to break this spell. No, no, no. <laughs> what the heck, babe? In that case. In that case, surely out a possible idea. With much enthusiasm, I wait out a space that and angle it. Stylishly again my face. Right. I'm ready. To learn this glow spell. May I remind you? I remind you the glow spell is very first spell that Estelle taught you at the start of the year. Yes. Uh-huh, that one. Let's do this. Uh. Looks like it only took you nine months to get ready to learn it. Excellent. Progress. Faye. At this rate, you will pass the Hollywood exam with flying color. <laughs> you think too, huh? It's a sarcasm. The 
it quite natural to Okay, okay. Go. Go. Introduce yourself again, Finn. It's quite natural to find yourself speechless in front of which as brilliant as the one the only finite shit. I admit it. I admit you have to reduce me to speechlessness. But I need you to teach me the spell at some point, you know? That's right. You're right. We don't have time for sarcastic banter wish, Sadu. Pay attention. Prepare yourself, eh? I'm going to teach you how to cast glow. Oh, oh, oh what should I do? Honto Kajo, Honto Kajo, what should I do? No! Whoa! She did it! An out of pure golden brightness flower in cups. Cups of my palm. At first, it's faint and nebulous, but we each beat of my heart. The light shine more and more radiantly. Zero! Zero! I did it! I spin around in delight and find Zero watching me with one of those red sweet, wistful smile of yours. Well oh, so cute! Well, yes, well done, Faye. I don't understand why, but seeing Zero's smile always makes something twist inside of my heart. <laughs> oh, press me. I, did. I just did. Yeah. yeah, okay, press me more. Maybe. Maybe I will, if you pass your exam. That's it. Aww. Work hard and do your best. Work hard, Wei. It's all depend on you from here on out. The more I look at his mind, the more I find the secret hollow in my heart twisting more sharply than usual. Turning away from him, I toss the glory up into the quiet evening sky. Anyway. Now it's your turn. Mm hmm? Hmm? Come on, my girl must be feeling lonely up there all by itself. Yeah, right. With the moon and all the star to keep it company? Well... They are so far away, Zero. You're right here. Quietly so very quietly, that I'm not very sure. I really did hear it. A soft whisper. All right. For you free. From behind me, an up of azure light float past, drifting up and up to join the golden counterpart. Mortal golden ghost light, will of the waves. Uh, huh? Hmm. Every portal cheese can cast the spell. Mm -hmm. Malevolent ones will cast them before unwary traveler, using a light to lure them from the world and perish in quirky, quirky, quirky. Walk a silent dark time. Uh. When darkness is all around you, you will find it can be worse to travel with a light that is unrivaled and with no light at all than with no light at all. Somehow Zero Force carries a hint of bareness with it. I can't help but lean forward to try and put my head on his shoulder. Hey! Whoa, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You know. You know better than to do that. Well, I can't help it. You're a reliable light, Zero. You're my reliable light. What? what? Don't you know? Your glowing blue portraits were always looking out for me, so you can be blamed if I keep wanting to lay on your shoulder. You can't. Okay. You fall right through this dish of my fault in the progress. process. <laughs> Like just now, huh? I grin at him, but his smile is nowhere to be found, although his cheeks seem to be thin with flame brush. So... You learn how to cast glow. Our lesson is over. I'm heading off before you do something stupid again. Zero! Mm hmm. He determined. He determined. Huh? Dematerialized. Dematerialized in front of my eyes. Feeling like I feel it a little crestfallen, I set off in the direction of my house. Just before I'm about to leave the field, I pause and look back one last time. The two glowing out cool and blue, a sea drift in the evening sky. The corner of my mouth curled upward, I continue on my own way, my step blurrier than before. 
You let your childhood friend. You let your childhood friend. The thing is, it's gonna like such a waste because see, uh, we can't use the yellow potion one due to we don't have Lawrence. We don't unlock Lawrence in here, so we can't use the yellow potion. We can only use the three. So I was thinking about the philosophies, and it was red. So I will make a potion which is red. But what is the difference between this though? If you brew three of same portion, then it will give you two additional portion. But what is the difference between this? Okay. Da da come from my book. Da da must be sent by crew. Da 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 is like you probably left it in the bed you lent to your roommate. Asking what protruding my lips and holding my cheek in my hand, as I think hard on mentally retreat, retracing my step from not so earlier today. Wow. Oh, did I do that, huh? Hmm. Wait, Lilio, when did you get here? Lilio, it's Lawrence. Lawrence. Wash yourself, which Lawrence take a some moment to pause and sniff the air. The way he says fish is very, way too adorable. Mm. Or the next time you have egg and bacon, I become William some for myself. Wow. Eat. How do you know all this? Creepy. No. It's not. He sat and pitched the brush on his nose. Again. It, can you forgot again? I'm a werewolf. We have the best sense of smell in all of following time. Now. I got your son near West Shop, but it was more than several people mingling there at once. Hmm. Since that Frankenstein creature come in not long after, and you also easily give them your bed without a second thought, I see they live together. Right. Although I could imagine you doing something like that regardless. Wow. Oh, we well, do actually. That's some pretty impressive detective work. Hmm. hmm. Sight or deceptive, but sense never lie. Okay, wait up. Uh, I need to lie down first. I hurt my back. Okay. Oh. oh, hey, do you know where Damien is now? Help me. Help me try to down. I need my stuff on my next class. Do it yourself. Find them yourself. How? How am I supposed to do that? I throw up my arm in a greatly exasperated manner and look at my werewolf companion with a huge part on my face. I... Not everyone has an all-seeing and all-knowing magic nose like you do. Well... well, you did ask me to teach you magic, didn't you? Uh... Yes. I'll show you. Then buckle up, Buttercup. I'll show you how to follow a sense the way I can use a spell. Sense track. I'm all ears. He did it. I cup one hand behind each ear. Lawrence dead out a disgruntled, disgruntled half. Pay attention. Pay attention, Faye. As I teach you how to cast sense track. Oh, here we go. Oh, I need to click again. Lawrence demonstrate how I can smell the way wolf do. I thought it'd be complicated to improve my sense like that, but it was actually pretty simple. With the right spell, I guess anything is possible. Mm -hmm. Sense track. After casting, I take a deep breath in through my nose, as if there were delicious brew cookie on the stuff top. Wow. Whoa, it's like a whole new world opened up before my very nose. Maybe. So long as you get a Good with of it first, you can try just about anything, maybe even fail too. Uh, try and fail? Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of running around. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have the word right now to convey how terrible that pun was, but I will track you down later. I grin as I lean toward him and take a few sniffs. Oh, oh hey, your agents look kind of nice. That's cute. Oh, Laura's look so cute. I love their chibi drawing. Yeah, that's the word. Sensational, even. What? No. Now who being creepy? Come on. Oh come on, you're starting. I mean it though, you have a really earthy smell to you, like wild flower and tree bark and mud. Well. I, I like rolling in powder when no one else is around. <laughs> <laughs> powder? Really? Don't tell me you roll around in stinky dead thing too. With my mouth ajar, I slap both again my cheek. Oh. Wait, is that where you work at? We're done. Okay, we're done here. But leave. Okay. Right. Okay, okay, fine. Smell you later, Lawrence. Hmm. Cute. Let's try to learn this one because we got that. Damien. Oh, each thing I got seen for it. Damien starts to teach me the best people in the moment. The moment. Some magic. I shot a post expected you to come and meet me. Mm, I will but get no such greeting than rounding the corner of our doorway. I found my room staring at its call. Damien? Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello, Earth to Damien? Hmm. Mm -hmm. As I get closer, I notice a couple of papers spread out in front of them on the table. They are of they are of the school spooky subject. Mathematic, wow. Debbie must be so focused thinking of the answer, that's why they didn't correct me. <laughs> I guess even someone as serious as them can be a bit spacey sometimes. 8 by 12 and 12 by 8. Uh, the measurement we think are pretty great. Mm -hmm. What actually we are learning about? Oh uh, yeah, thank you for making a lot of sense. Did that girl just talk? Huh? Faye, when did you get home? Uh, uh, five minutes ago. I did post and everything. Well, More importantly, did that school just talk? Yes. It did. A long time ago. Right. In his time, my maker endowed me with magic to communicate with the dead. Oh, that's it. I do that all the time. Though the dead guy I come here with never does my homework for me. Hmm. <laughs> this period a little more otherworldly than zero. What? But the instant has been one of the Okay, sorry. I need to repair again. But the inside have been wonderful to have for some complex homework question. Just as Damien finished, I clasped my hand together and hold them to my chair with pleading eyes. Can you teach me? Can you teach me? Please, I should could use some help on my on my worksheet too. Okay. I don't see why not. It's very simple process. Um, you just have to cut the mouth of the skull with Franken, Frankenstein's. Then you need to charge it with magical power using the spell philosophy. Rex, yes. I don't have any Frankenstein's. I have to run to the store. Maybe. Maybe I can convince Carmilla to give me this skull. <laughs> 
I am me moving to dash out of the place and down to the ship faster than the tumbly jet or lantern, but they may stop me. No. No, don't. Please. You can borrow some of mine if you want to give it a try. There it is. I'll work hard. Eh, thank you. So, so much. I will do my best. <laughs> For the best friend I know. The blush and avert your eyes a little. Well. Well. Watch closely, please, Ray. I'll try and teach you how to cast a philosophies. Yay! New skill acquired. Brushing a skull tip with a hook is kind of weird, but at least it's easy. Under the main instruction, I made the preparation fairly quickly. All right. Great, I think I got it. Philosophize! That's yes. hey, cool, buddy. I have a potion assignment due tomorrow. Tell me if I should use bad me or god spice as the base for this LLC of wizzing. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, it's working. Look it up yourself and sort right off. Hey. hey now, do you have bone to pick with me? We, the spirit, do not live to serve. Disturbing our rest, we do not deserve. If you want to pass your test, then study yourself and don't be a pest. That kind of show was true for someone without a leg to stand on. Just because you have been alone for centuries doesn't mean you can. D don't take it personally. Most spirits are surely in the best of time. Isn't this space supposed to make them, you know, cooperative? No. This method only allow you to commune with the dead, not command them. Although, Although this soul did have a point, you can't exactly study the aids into your fire and them. <sighs> I guess not, but it was a shot. Thank for nothing, you born head. Do you wish we do say bye? And I know you are, but why am I? Why you? I think that's enough for this lesson. The gentle grab my shoulder to hold me back and look at me with a great kindness and concern in their eyes. Please. Go take a break, Free. I will um lay our friend here back to rest. Hmm, okay. Thank you, Damien. After break, I spend the reminder on my days cramming more for the Halloween exam. And occasionally, I found a light snake place on my desk for me that never failed to make me smile. Mm -hmm. Looking around a human shop, all I can see is a couple that should be together. If only I could give them a nudge in the right direction. Wow, well, this suck. We don't have to work when I have such important higher calling. No, bad fay. I have to study. I look down at my phone spell book. I look down at my open spell book, which sits on the corner, which sits on the counter. Mr. West told me I could study here until someone came to register, and memorizing ingredients shouldn't be too hard. Right? Well. Let's see, pumpkin, pumpkin new, no, pumpkin root mixed with cherry ice? What's that? Oh wait, it said wall eyes. Who decided that learning potion means reading anyway? All you do is dump a bunch of junk in a pot so you could be able to wing it. What's the point of studying? I heard a lot of excuse than dream. What the heck? There are, they are both the same, aren't they? Uh, how am I supposed to pick? I lift my head and watch Carmilla flip between the shelves. When she spied the customer, Darius might curl out her face and glint over in her eyes. This bill belines me toward him, then gently place her hand on his back. My dear. Oh dear, it just packaged finger. Oh, Carmilla is so so cute. You know? Don't make a decision any harder than it has to be. They both find you will notice the one on the left is dry while the right is fresh. I'm sure. Still, I'm sure a capable mage as yourself 
will be exposed to its fullest potential. Oh, right. I'll take both. Mm hmm I knew you were something special when I saw you, darling. Her hands tightened up the customer bag then draped around his shoulder. Karma pulled in closer to him and dark blush creeped out his neck as she does. But you know. But you don't have you you don't want to put your ingredient in just any old cauldron, do you? Am I wrong? We recently started carrying magical implement and miracle worker of your caliber is the best of the best, or am I wrong? Uh alright. You have a point. You see, I'm making uh this continue for at least a good half hour. I'm excellent by Mr. As I watch Carmel direct him around the shop with spring sweet suggest in his ear. Eventually, I can't even see the cosmo face behind the pile of gold in his arm. And as expected, it takes forever to read everything up uh, when they finally arrive at the counter. Thanks for your purchase. Thank you for your purchase, doll. Don't be stranger, you hear? Uh, of course not, Miss Carmilla. I'll be back next week. No, tomorrow. I hope we never go anywhere else. Hmm, I know you have remarkable taste. Thanks again. After Menpe, I watched Mom hanging over as he stumbled off with half a store in tow. There a sudden gentle pressure on the bottom of my jaw as Carmilla closed it with his finger. Oh, oh little wish. Don't tell me you're falling for me too. No way, no way but I think anyone who is as powerful as I am will have been falling all over themselves by now. You are amazing. But that wasn't all just you, was it? Mm-hmm, for someone who really study, you got key intuition. You're right. Yes, you're right. Indeed, he liked me just fine, but I may have given him just a dancing nudge. Right. A magical nudge, right? Correct. Mm-hmm. You know? To elaborate for you, my struggling employee, we vampire have a natural ability to control the head. Hypnotize mortal or the lesser undead at our leisure. A spell you may refer to is Enthral. If there's so much as sent to of potential for that feeling to flour flourish, we can. Smiling, she means she mimes the blue of flower with the both hand. Happy sprout, so to speak. So you're saying you can instantly make anyone like you? The endless possibilities soon drag my back. Imagine what a distinguished matchmaker that's me could do with a spell like. Not quite, Not quite love. No. We can't do anything all again those with indomitable will, such as yourself. Nor can we replace genuine feeling of friendship or love, either for the matter. And so. But Entra made friendship easy to imitate, but so I try to be a little nice about it. It makes the job or other thing much easier after all. Wow. I see. No wonder Mr. West has been singing your praise. <laughs> Has he now? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I suppose I'm his best saleswoman, but I just feel he hope fine, not like you, dear. Yes. yes, it's super hard, Carmilla. I wish I had even half as beautiful as talented as you. She straight up placed her hand against her cheek and turned away to hide her cape collar. Carmilla good at this. Dishing out compliments, but she really can't take them. Huh? Cute. Oh my. oh my, I suppose you do have a little potential. Tell you what, you've been pouring over those for hours. So I will give you a real lesson as a reward for your feathery. Right. I at your disposal, my lady. I think exaggerated bow and grin at her. She immediately claps one hand together. Oh, you're so cute that I could just eat you up. Just don't think I will go easy on you because of that. Listen carefully. Alright, listen carefully. I will teach you how to cast and troll. Nice. We get to work. Carmilla point out a page in my book with portion of and trollment. Then steal me around the store so I can collect the ingredient myself. I think I learned better by doing things. It's easy to remember what everything is when I'm physically holding it all, as well as being coached by someone else. Brewing takes a while, so Carmilla moved around helping other customers. Still, she managed to check in on me now and then. 
At one point, she see my progress even not in certification. Wait, is that my alarm? No, I don't think so. And that's everything. Now, during all the that's the only way I would is it will work. I wrinkle my nose at the smell like two or three perf perfume that should never mix, but still pour the potion down my throat. And troll. Mm hmm. Kind of tingly. It's supposed to feel like that. That at least sounds correct, but another being, now wait until someone comes in to... Don't worry, I already have someone in mind. A mischievous screen slid across my day as I can call upstairs to Mr. West. Hey, Mr. West. My voice echoed through the shop, but it's still nothing like one that boomed back at me. What? I need a raise. Huh? Don't wait, newbie. You just start here. Get back to work. I've been confusing. They explained the item back to Carmilla. What do you know it work? <laughs> oh, my poor sweet student. Practice. It's your very first time in trolley. It takes significant practice to make it work on someone like Grumpy or Mr. West. You will need to be almost as excellent as Moi. Oh. But don't you worry, your pretty little head one bit, my dear. Carmilla gave me a few shot back on the top of my head. You know? The lovely Carmilla will teach you all sort of thing, and you'll be rolling in the door in no time at all. How does that sound? Wow. Great, you really are the best, Carmilla. Oh my, oh my. I think I'm going to enjoy watching you progress, fairy. Oh Let's continue work hard. Can I have you foiling those exam now? Uh, wait, okay. Okay. I have four of these and four of those. When the heck I'm using this? Hmm. First I need to see what kind of spell I want to learn. Okay, I guess we're going to try the telekinesis next. I think this will be cool, so I need the blue one. Make the potion. Where is it supposed to be? Yeah, there was that. Uh. Fine. Continue. Since there were basically no customer, I was learning near the cash register and flipping through a magazine. Then when I got interrupted by someone clearing the truck, glancing out, I saw Damien, who looked extremely uncomfortable. After my user danced around them and them shying away, they finally confessed to having a loss and year that they are now looking at replace. Okay. This is Sans Try. I was able to locate a fitting one in the flash, rewarding me with one of Damien Resma and a pet on the back from Mr. West. At the end of the day, I even got more tips than usual. Nice. Let's do a part time job. Today, I went to work. Nothing special happened, and I learned a good amount of pocket money. Good. Okay, more story. Da di da, got no money. Da da da, got back great. Please, oh please, come to my eat. I saw around the corner just to catch Damien sitting near the stair. What are they up to today? I almost finished. After this, around the knee. Hiya. Uh huh. I'll put my paw like a baseball catcher. I was expecting one of their eyes to pop out in surprise. They put everything they put this time. Please, please just sneak up on me like that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't know you were so focused. But, but what were you doing? I thought I heard a whoop. To image the sound, I zip up my arm in a long, exaggerated stance. Oh, oh that was... Oh... 
he been uh, I know uh, they are been eating the hands. They okay fine. Damien move aside to reveal a disembodied Himalay. A needle and thread is moving on its own to stitch up a cut just below the. Wait, hold on. Moving on its own. Damien, you never told me you could do magic. Oh, oh that's. It's just one enchantment that my maker taught me. It's nothing special. Hey, it's more than I can do. It's a magic spell. No, really nothing special. It's just a stitch spell. I could, teach you. I could teach you to do it too. I mean, if you want. That is. Thank you. Really? Yes, thank you, Damien. But uh, if this is one from the causing you problem, you know you can talk to me, right? Huh? Problem? I guess you at the detached lake, which is the obvious not the great of the ship. If someone did this to you, they'd definitely be hearing from me. It's not like oh, okay. Some of the part I get from Mr. Wet and Human Show are just a bit, um, barking quality, you see. Damien Fidget tried to find a way to convey the meaning without saying a single bad word about Mr. West. Oh, ah. In the manner of speaking, yes. Naturally, sauce can um, imply a lot of things. Anyway. anyway, just um, watch this. They may recollect the needle from the land and treat it. They remove a small pin vial from their red cage and dip the end of the thread in the liquid memory the incantation. Um, eh, I think I heard this somewhere. Perhaps in class one before I fell asleep. <laughs> okay. Almost instantly, the needle leaped from Damien's fingertip and began working on stitching. Shut a cut above his knee. Wow. Oh, Damien, that's amazing. Let me try. Let me try. Sure, I bought some hand and knit from stitching. Hmm. There are uh, extra bio ink in the bag, too. You can. I saw over to sit back. Try on those. I got you so interested. Where would I be? You are an awesome teacher. They look, a, they look a little bit flustered by my last remark. Watch closely, please. Watch closely, please, please. I'll try and teach you how to cast stitch. Wow. So I just hold it like this and stitch. Following the main example, I made the wound begin to stay itself back up. Damien! Damien, I'm doing it! It's working perfectly! It's... The fingers suddenly start moving and the hands spring up at me. Huh? Faye! Without a word, Damien, my sweet, shy little Damien, change... Charges toward like my very night. <laughs> Cute! This made down the nasty palm as if it were an insect, with a roll out newspaper from the neighbor nearby and hands collapsed. Are you all right? Hmm. You have to be careful with the intonation of animation spell, or you may end up uh, raising something. Not it. Sorry, I have been as super extra careful for now on, but but I jumped at Damon and pulled them into a hug. Wow. That was really cool, Damon. The way you went flying in with your magic newspaper. Thank you. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. You're, you're welcome. What? But it wasn't much really. My maker he just do that whenever my spell got out of control. So. <sighs> What's wrong? It's nothing. But I think they conclude our lesson for today. I think it's conclude when the hand died back there. Damon turns out at the word die. I can't be curious but my people still tell me they aren't ready to talk about it. So I bite my tongue and push back my usual. Nice shit way for them. Anyway. anyway, thank you for the lesson Damien. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Damien doesn't seem to hear me like lost in thought, so in an effort to give my dear friends a spirit, I see myself out. Maybe, Maybe another time then. Mm-hmm. 
So let's learn a spell. So I want a telekinesis. Okay, start. Clean, clean, clean the house. Fair not shade the need the tidy. I'm sorry. I have to apologize, Faye. I always, oh. I always thought you were tallest, bumbling devil maker a headed slope. Hey. Zero, zero. One adjective at a time, I guess. But it seems like maybe deep down you actually a responsible person. <laughs> yes, press me some more. Maybe. Very, very deep down. Carefully I count the ladder, a pill or cleaning equipment in my hand. Huh. How was they injured so badly? They said that they were trying to clean the top shell of his cut of this cover, but while on the ladder, one of their joints gave out suddenly. Ouch. I saw it. It's a rare for that to happen to Damien. They're not even close, so I'm pretty worried. So mistake I made, that's alright, it's okay. You can tell me for in the world. We just... Okay, Faye? Don't I should even become home in tip-top shape after the surgery at the human shop. Right. So am I. And I want to give them a big surprise when they get back and find this place all speak and spend, not even a single gram of new to be found. Sure? I think that very kind of you, only are you sure you'll be fine? Uh, what do you mean? May I remind you? You barely keeping your balance on top of the rickety ladder, rickety red ladder, while holding a mop in one hand and plate of soapy water in another. A series of thoughts that will challenge even train a crowbat. Right. I am? I am! Amazing! Amazing talent, and I? Don't. Don't accidentally trip and fall too, Faye. <laughs> you look such a worry what, Zero? I tip to an utmost route, strain to reach the corner of the cardboard shelf in with my mouth. The incomparable, the one and only. Faye, nice shit! Okay. No accident could possibly happen to play Nightshade, the one, the only. Eh! C crush! C Careful! Watch out! I flinch away from the creepy crawler and steam it to assist my balance. Balance. Uh huh. For one dizzy moment, I am free fall. An unseen force catch me mid air. Hmm? Huh? I'm floating? Boy up in the mid-air by the invisible wave, as on my mouth and pill on either side of me. So the force ebbed away, setting me and my mouth and pill gently on the floor. My brain rattled inside my skull as I recovered from the fall. Well, what, what happened? Thank goodness I caught you in time, you scared me to death. <laughs> but Zero, you are poor turgis, uh. unless you want to turn into one. Don't ever do something, so... Wait. Wait, that's it. I'm idiot. I should have taught you telekinesis. <laughs> Telekinesis what? That's right. It's a portal to spell that allows you to move physical objects around, like slamming door in empty room, breaking plate, plugging cosmetic ball into pawn, uh, or catching witches falling from ladder? Precisely. Precisely. Or controlling a mop and pill into cleaning the cardboard without needing to hold them yourself. Can you teach me? Oh, that's been useful. Teach me, Zero. Alright, prepare yourself, Faye. I'm going to teach you how to cast telekinesis. Nice. I hope I can have telekinesis in real life, so I don't really need to wash everything by my own hand, or mop the floor by my own hand, or maybe like pick up something from the floor that falls from the table with my own hand. I mean, it's kind of like hard. Telekinesis. Inch by inch, the moth and the pill rise up from the ground like a zombie from the grave. Dip the moth into the pill, then tap the moth up. Not bad. Wipe, wipe the moth on the shelf, shelf. But with the spell such a telekinesis, concentration is absolutely key. How strange, there is round button like thing. The instant you lose it, it's moving. It's moving! The spell break. Good crush, it's fine, Zero, it's fine! 
The moth appeared dropped as a small brown creature wheeled through the room before propelling up and out of the upper window. Mm -hmm. Nice. Zero, Z, zero catch the moth right before it landed on my head and look a really cross his face briefly. Huh. Telekinesis isn't the easiest spell to cast, especially when you are casting it for the first time. And being frightened by the flying cockroach. Well. That's true. When you are quite recovered, shall we try again? After an hour under zero tutelage, I used telekinesis to clean not just the cupboard but every nook and cranny of the kitchen. There, when they may return, Faye, I'm home! Yeah. They're back! I... Can I stay? I like to see the look of surprise on your face too. Of course. of course, thank you for all your help, Zero. Apologies. I'm sorry, cause I messed the kitchen earlier due to my accident. I'm going to clean it right away, don't worry. Oh. Faye? Zero? What are you. What the kitchen? Oh. Where? Eh? I cannot see the kitchen that I clean, huh? Um, let's try... We can buy a potion? Oh, hello them. How may I assist you today? How, Carmilla? Buy a yellow potion. Buy blue potion, pink potion. Oh, it's pink potion? We have pink potion? Where is pink potion? Where? Where? No one is fine. I just want to see what kind of spell we want to learn. This? What is this? Summon any vampire alive, not sure anyone in the vicinity to ask a favor. Detect anything living with blood nearby. Also work on recent budget. I think this is cool. So I like to try that one. So make a potion. This one. This and start. Yay! Mr. West told me to go to the storage room and get ready a specific item for a customer. He gave me a clear instruction about how to navigate the expensive, catacomb-like area, but how was I supposed to remember all that? When I found the item I was supposed to get, I caught a glimpse of a pretty dagger just a few shelves over a quickly went to inspect it. As I inspect, I found myself utterly lost afterward. After stumbling through the storage room for what felt like forever, I finally made it back outside. Only to find Mr. Wick glaring at me from the top of the stair. Apparently, he was about to go searching for me because the customer had left. Deciding the item wasn't worth the wait anymore. Seeing I cost him quite a bit of money, Mr. Wick decided to take it out of my pay. Aww. It's okay, Faye. So let's see, let's learn a spell now, like the center slot. Start. Five, six. Mm -hmm. I look around the empty shop. It's one minute to down and without a customer inside, we might be able to go home soon. I too am trying to be outside since there are many anyone here for hours. Kamila have been trying to entertain ourselves. As quietly as I can, I show myself into one of empty barrels in display window, careful to replace the lid over my head. Nine, okay. Come, on. Come out, my dear. You can't possibly hide, hope to hide from me. I press button hand over my mouth to silence the giggle that bubbling in my chest. I'm a master of high estate, the sneaky, the unseen fey night shit. There's no one should be able to find me now. After all, who would think to look at? Wrong. The lip pop out of my head within a second. I look at the Sukarmila grinning down at me. A smart face on her, a smart look on her face. You there you are. They made what forty-five win for me, and you are paltry zero. How? Just how? Are you curious, little witch? She offered her hand to help me out. Her voice seemed so enthusing. I'm not brushing the dust from my clothes. Whether you can send the one or blood nearby, particularly if we simply before. Mortal can cause mortal cause the spell sense of blood. 
What? You've been casting all this game then? Cheating, I mean. No cheating. I just have a event, natural advantage. Carmilla gave me impish grin. She definitely cheering. So, what else is that kind of magic good for other than Harise? What also thing, my dear? It's for on recent bloodshed for one, even when cost was gone cold, I can still send the approximate location and time of death through a residual wall. I gave it her. So you can find merger and stuff? Mm-hmm. I should have her get out of sticky situation with my ability. Mr. West, what happened? Oh, you know, wrong place, wrong time. The guard had him handcuffed and were even ready to take him to jail for a murder in the alley next door. He, she casually point to the side of the shop while was still discussing, discussing where she found a lost animal. I feel too run down my spine at the realization I used the LD to get to work. But you know. Herbie doesn't have license to um obtain stock in that manner, so a uh, conviction would have been devastating. But in turn out, it was particularly nasty competitor trying to frame him. The cup, real copy blood, blood was at the scene, so I was able to turn them in before Herbie was dry. Amazing. That's amazing, Carmilla. But how were you sure it wasn't Mr. West? You know how stingy Herbie is. There's no way he will risk the entire business just for a few parts. If I know anything at all about the man, how it how much he cared about this store. I'm not slowly amazed by both her magical talent and having to solve what could have been a devastating blow to Mr. West and his business. Wow. Oh, that's wild. Can you teach me? Sounds like the skill could really come in handy. Do you think you could teach me how to do it too? I squat down and plead some at her for good measure. Okay. I don't know. It wouldn't make hide and seek very fun anymore. Camille rolled her head about her shoulder. Disinterested in my cry, and I jumped out with my eyes stretched out at her and ready to object. Wow. You're only fun to you because you are winning. Obviously. Come on. Oh, come on. Wow. Will you teach me if I promise not to use it during high and sick? Plus, next time anyone frame me away, you can sit back and just order me around to investigate. How does that sound? Wow. <coughs> oh, good point, look. Hmm, if you agree to prudent as well, to be prudent as well, I may be generous enough to show you. I do not want to have to drag you out of trouble too, after all. <laughs> I promise. After all. Alright, I'll teach you how to cast sense of blood. Cool. Carmina spent the rest of our shit showing me how to trap blood through sense alone. It was time to give it to old Dreamweaver try. One good whiff of it caused my face to scratch out and my tongue to roll out of my mouth in disgust. Yuck. Oh, I suppose that means it's working. We're not. You get used to it with the practice, darling. So she said, but at the end of the night, I feel like it never leaves my nose. However, it just might come in handy something. Just, um, hopefully not too soon. Okay. I mean, like, she has the shop full of blood, so... Uh, zero, zero, zero. I figured it out. How to pass your Halloween exam? No, how to hug you? To hug me? Yep. I'm sorry, I don't follow. I can't hug you and whenever I try to, I am messing your asses, right? Where's the tissue? That's right. Right, babe. Very annoying too. Because I'm made of flesh and blood while you're spirit of edit and magic. Taking you that long to figure out, has it? Almost. 180 years. But, but listen to this. I'm all here for better or for worse. <laughs> what if I turn into spirit of ether and magic too? Good heavens. 
or good heaven free. The Halloween exams are difficult but they are not little. You won't be facing any obstacle that could actually kill you, you know. I don't mean that. Then you have lost me. I mean, teach me spell I can cast to transform the best matchmaker in Grimmer me into a potter just like you. That's actually not a terrible idea, come to think of it. It could be pretty useful to you, your exam, for the exam. Yes. Then there is a spell that will let me transform into spooky spirit version of myself. My choice of hope making him roll his eyes before continuing with his explanation. Hmm. Almost. In in substance, how to say this word? In substance, how? How? Google, help me. Okay, let's Google first. Close all the apps. Okay, how is it? And in sub shit. In sub shit. Something like that. In sub Yes, yes, yes. What to pronounce this? What even is mean? Uh, copy. Translate. Uh, change English to. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hard to say. It. What? Again? Unsubstantiate. Unsubstantiate. Okay. In unsubstantiate, we make you form ghost like. You'll be able to walk. Through wall, turn invisible and hover in mid air, just like any uh, any portages. Right. This is super cool. Teach me the spell, Zero. Pay attention. All right, prepare yourself. Eh? I'm going to teach you how to cast in substance shade. New spell acquired. Nice. Yeah. I feel myself growing lighter, fainter. Go see you? I, I can't feel my balance. Whoa. Careful. Zero make as it's too lunch for me but cheat himself at the last moment. So. It's easy to lose your balance in ghost form because no, you no longer have a center of gravity. In fact, gravity doesn't even apply to you anymore. Uh, hover. Faye, hover. This take a little getting used to it, but you will get the hang of it as I did. Zero. Hovering. Zero, look, I'm hovering. Uh -huh. You're surprising quick learner. What do you mean surprisingly? Well... Wait, wait a second. I'm Potter just now, ain't I? Yes. For the moment, it substantially gives you a spirit basic form for a fixed span of... Right. That's me, I got hockey at least. Oh. Unfortunately. Without waiting for Zero to finish, I show my arm around him gleefully. Whoa. You can't. You can't? What? Wait. If it cold and dizzy. Now. You know how I feel when you try to hug me. Why? Why? Huh. Both are incapable of touching each other as living beings are incapable of touching us. That Touch requires physical contact and we portal just have nothing physical to offer. I see. Oh no, don't do so crestfallen. Here, come with me. Zero start drift away, drifting upward. He said touch the roof, then disappear right through. Zero? Come with me. Come along. Joy in a deep breath. I concentrate on floating outward. Wow. I I'm floating. Mm -hmm. Steady Faye. Almost. It's easy to pass through barrier for the first time if you close your eyes. Passing through the roof feel weird, like something went into and out of me that was there and not there at the same time. When I opened my eyes, the starry night spread endlessly above illuminated by the brilliant crescent sun, crescent moon. Amazing! Mm-hmm. Oh, cute. I love to sit on rooftop and watch the night go by a long, long time ago. I... Now I can get on rooftop much more easily, but... Floating is not sitting, and sometimes I... Zero? Mm -hmm. Do you miss... 
means what? Having a physical body. Zero tense of attend to means confidently. Do I miss stubbing my toe? Do I miss tripping over branches and falling flat on my face? Do I miss having climb fly after fly off stairs to get to the roof? Only to find the door locked and the key hidden away, huh? Do you, Zero? Mind your own business. Mind your own business, man. What's up? Hi, everybody. I have the background story. I didn't even know. So... I think I would love to do a part-time job. And before we continue, is I'm sad to say that this is come to the end of this part because it's already like too long for this parody, and I don't want to drag it already much than this. So if you want to know what happened next to Faye. So, stay tuned for the next episode of Wish and Warlock. Bye!